Hello everyone, it is me, Kevin, and we're back with another Cinema Adventures. This time on Jaws and Harry Potter. Yes! Now, if you couldn't tell from some of my videos, I am a massive Harry Potter fan. And while I haven't talked about Spielberg yet, I will say he is one of my favorite directors of all time. The guy makes some really good films. Like I finally finished Indiana Jones series like a few months ago, you know? Like I wanted to see that for a while, like the entire series, and it's so good. Jurassic Park and Lost World, really good films. The first one may be better, but the second one, very underrated. Lincoln, love that movie as well. Really good. You know, like Spielberg is awesome, you know? And Jaws is like one of my favorite films, you know? It's just so simple. But it's so good. It has great characters, suspense, and all of that. It's just awesome. Like, I can't wait to see that. Can't wait to see Jaws. But I also can't wait to see Harry Potter. Because you guys probably know at this point that I'm a massive Harry Potter fan. Like, I just love the series. Favorite series of all time. Like, I'm serious. It's like one of my favorite things in the world. And I've always wanted to see the movies. Like, in theaters. I just want to see them in theaters and the fact that I now have a chance to do it is just so surreal. It's just great. It's awesome. I can finally relive, you know, the magic, but this time in theaters. And that's a really good deal. Now, the reason we, this is happening is because, you know, there's not a lot of new releases available due to the unfortunate pandemic that's going on. So, <sighs> kind of sucks that that happened, but hey, at least I have a chance to like go back and look at some movies in theaters. Like, as I said, Jaws and Harry Potter, can't wait to watch them. Jaws is just perfect to watch right now because, you know, guy not believing some rational people, like ignoring the warnings, sounds like the appropriate movie to play but okay besides that it is a fun time like jaws is a summer movie like say summer movie jaws immediately pops up in my head so there's that and harry potter you know I, as i said i love harry potter can't wait to see that it's just gonna be awesome as we keep going and going i'll probably give you some insights on you know what i expect my experience to be and all that you know and then i'll just i'll let you know and describe how it goes you know so i can't wait for that but uh, I'm gonna have to wait for a few hours. It's almost 10 right now. I'm gonna do some like homework, maybe do some chores, eat, and then we're gonna be going soon. So can't wait. Well, I just showered right now and it is around 12, which means we're almost there. <laughs> Two hours left. Now, the first movie we're gonna watch is Harry Potter because like, you know, we're trying to keep track of time. Like we wanna watch Harry Potter and then Jaws afterwards or ideally we would have done it the other way around. But unfortunately, um, time, at least the show times are not on our side here. So we had to choose Harry Potter, but hey, I love Harry Potter and you know what? Time to watch in cinemas for once, you know? I watched The Crimes of Grindelwald in theaters. That was the first Wizarding World movie I ever I ever saw and I loved it it was great it was amazing like I just had lots of great time it was just really good but uh yeah I never really saw a Spielberg film actually we know that's a lot I saw Ready Player One but besides that that's basically it like I missed the Jurassic Park 3D re-release back in 2013 jeez that's seven years ago now oh my goodness <laughs> that was like ages ago and i still remember like you know seeing the logo on there oh my goodness memories <laughs> but anyway i'm pretty sure ready player one's the only spielberg movie i ever saw in theaters so time to see jaws yes my goodness i, I just can't wait you know harry potter can't wait jaws can't wait and uh yeah i am wondering what other shenanigans could we're gonna do because like you know gonna be crazy to find out how to pass the time because like it's gonna be a big gap in between watching those movies so that's gonna suck it's gonna be boring most likely i don't know what i'm gonna do but let's hope uh we find something to do during those times 
Alrighty, so we're heading our way to the movie theater. My goodness! Oops, you can't see, but... Oh, oh my goodness! You can watch the Harry Potter! Oh my god, come on, it's fanboy. I know I'm fanboying. This is a dream come true. Goodness, I can't wait. Yes, I can't wait. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's so man, I'm so happy because of the good news. <sighs> well, me and my brother are here. We're waiting. We are gonna be waiting for 30 minutes. So yep. Alright, so if you did not understand what I was saying, what I was saying was our theater is gonna be playing the other Harry Potter movies, which is awesome. Sorry about that, but <laughs> like, oh my goodness. I was hoping to see the other Harry Potter movies. When I saw the first one was gonna be playing, I was thinking, does, does that mean we're gonna see the other ones? And yes, we are, oh my freaking goodness. But anyway, I can't wait for the other Harry Potter movies. I just can't wait. I just can't wait. <laughs> I'm gonna watch Chamber of Secrets, Prisoner of Azkaban, Goblet of Fire, Order of the Phoenix, Half-Blood Prince, Deathly Hallows Part 1, Deathly Hallows Part 2, Fantastic Beasts, and Where to Find Them, Fantastic Beasts, Crimes of Grindelwald, all in theaters. And the only one of those I saw was The Crimes of Grindelwald. And you know what? I'm excited to watch that again. You know what? I had lots of fun with it, and it was, like, pretty good. So, yes! Anyway, like, I wonder what other movies they're going to be playing. Because, like, I know there's Ghostbusters, but, like, what else? For me, I want to see Pirates of the Caribbean trilogy in theaters. So I hope they have that. Spider-Man trilogy. And maybe even the Jurassic Park films. Like, those would be perfect. Even Jurassic Park 3, I'd be fine watching that in theaters. So much possibilities. I thought the summer was going to be really bad, but... So far, shaping up to be good. Like, if this is all we're getting for summer, then you know what? That's a fair trade. I'm fine. Anyway, so Eric, what thing are you looking forward to in seeing with this new Harry Potter movie? Well, not new, but with this Harry Potter movie. Uh, I'm looking forward to... That's actually kind of hard. I think I would be looking forward to this Hagrid. This, like, is a first appearance. Hmm. Like, say for saving Harry. So hmm. I want see how that goes. Yeah... That, you know, yeah, that's actually a good answer. For me, I will say that I'm looking forward to listening to Hedwig's theme. Like, oh, I remember listening to that in The Crimes of Grindelwald. It was just, it made me cry. I'm not going to lie, it made me cry. So I'm going to hopefully, you know, maybe have the same feeling. And for anything else, I guess it would be maybe the Quidditch match. You know, like, it may be one of the weakest Quidditch matches in the films, but... I would like to, like, get the feel, you know? So, I'm kind of excited for that. Like, before any of this happened, I wanted to see the Harry Potter movies in theaters, because that would be an awesome experience, you know? And, like, you know, I was just, I just wanted to see them in theaters, theaters you know? Because I love watching movies in cinemas, because, you know, get to watch them with everyone else and I love how the screen's big and the speakers are loud you know it's awesome and um I remember I was talking with someone and someone said to me like next year is going to be the 20 year anniversary of the release of the Sorcerer's Stone and I was thinking you know what they have a point maybe there could be like re-releases you know like just a uh, give audiences a chance to watch them and who knew my dream would come sooner than I expected <laughs> like this feels surreal like I can't believe this, this is happening <sighs> I thought it was going to be next year maybe and that was only a maybe but now it's it's going to happen it's going to happen in a few days weeks whatever you want to call it either way I'm excited and I can't wait
Alrighty, so the film's about to start really soon, so yes, finally, my dream's gonna come true, and uh, miracles do happen, so see you on the other side. So the movie's over, and I had a blast. It was awesome. It was just a dream come true, but uh, I'll let you know like later on so don't get copyrighted here Alrighty, so we're leaving right now so yep i am finally out like uh yeah so finished watching harry potter and the sorcerer's stone and i loved it it was amazing it was as awesome as i wanted it to be now some of the big takeaways that i got from this movie was the score is Amazing. John Williams, once again, does a great job, you know, as usual. That guy is a magician when it comes to music. Like, he literally makes the most iconic soundtracks, and Harry Potter is one of them. It's, it feels so special to me, you know? It was nice finally, it was nice to finally hear the music in theaters in its full glory, and it was beautiful. Just, just beautiful. I loved hearing Hedwig's theme. It was great. Some other stuff. Um, it was great to see Alan Rickman. Like, Alan Rickman as Snape was one of the things I was looking forward to seeing in cinemas. And it was it was great. It was as great as I wanted to be. I mean, I guess I wish I saw more of him because, you know, I, he's just amazing. But I'm happy with what we got, you know. And it was nice seeing all the characters, you know, like Harry, Ron, and Hermione interacting. It was nice to see that on the big screen, you know, it was so great. And the Quidditch match was a scene I was really looking forward to, and it did not disappoint me, because it almost felt like you were in there, you know, you were, like, in the scene, because you could kind of feel the speed, the wind, you know, like, everything. Like, like the bludgers moving around, and, like, the snitch, everything. Like, that was a scene I was looking forward to, like watching in theaters and it did not disappoint me it was awesome i loved it that that's a lot to take in though like seeing hogwarts for the first time like okay i've seen hogwarts before but in the film you know it was just nice seeing the reveal of hogwarts it was beautiful you know and i loved it and i liked hearing many of the iconic lines in theaters like in the theater it was just great i i loved it and <sighs> but yeah, that's my general thoughts on it, you know? Like, I love Harry Potter. The first movie is really good. And can't wait to see the other ones. Can't wait. Alrighty, so, um, I'm still waiting here. Like, uh, it's been about an hour now, you know? Or more than that, maybe more than an hour. But, uh, we're waiting for Jaws. And right now it is 5.48. Jaws starts at 7 o'clock, so... We're just gonna have to wait for long, like for a little more longer, so. Oh well, that happens, and uh, you know what? That's okay, you know? Well, I'll just have to wait. But Jaws should be a fun experience, though. Like, I really can't wait to see Jaws. You already know I'm a big Spielberg fan, like his movies, so. Can't wait to see where this goes. Well, it is about 40 minutes until Jaws starts, so. <sighs> That's why we're waiting inside now. I'll probably like stay here for about 10 more minutes and I will go on the theater. And then I'll give you like some of my thoughts on what I expect, you know, what I'm looking forward to and all that, so. Yep. Alrighty, I just realized I can take this off now. But anyway, um, yeah, so, sorry about the copyright music or whatever music it is, but yeah, so finally in the theater we're gonna watch jaws pretty soon in 30 minutes so um eric what are you what are you excited for uh i'm excited for the standoff between brody and the shark it's not like that scene that's probably my favorite scene in the entire film mm, that's 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 fair yeah i'm mostly excited for like pov shots and the uh, score if there's one thing we all know about jaws it's the freaking score it's what made shark scary you know, it's why many people are afraid of sharks. But, uh, yeah, I can't wait for that. And I can't wait for the third act of the film. It's gonna be awesome. 
It's gonna be so cool. I just, I just can't wait. It's just gonna be, it's gonna be a fun experience. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, we have eight minutes till Jaws starts. I can't wait for the thrills, terror, and excitement. Can't wait for Jaws. Like, I watch, ever since I watched Jaws, like, um, fully, like, uh, it's been a tradition to watch it every summer. So, there we go. That's all we're gonna do, and I can't wait. Jaws is about to start right now. Like, literally one minute left. Like, just one minute, and then Jaws is gonna start. So, I'm gonna stop right here, right now. So, uh, see you on the other side. That was a lot of, that was fun, right? Eric? Nemesis, I know. <laughs> yep, well, now we are leaving. And we're now free. It's now finished, so time to leave. And I saw this. Alrighty, well, Jaws is over. We are waiting for our parents now they're gonna come here pretty soon and uh, yeah so yeah the movie's over and oh man it was awesome to watch in theaters like this is the perfect movie like this is really the perfect movie to play during summer like why not have this every year <laughs> it would be awesome but uh yeah it was it was pretty good like it was just so much fun just watching it you know, for a movie about shark attacks, like, I feel like people don't talk a lot about how it is, it does have some comedy in there. It was hilarious at times, it was funny. I also think the score, it was 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. It was perfect. It was amazing. I can't, I can't describe it that well. It's what makes the film a 10 out of 10. Like, if Jaws did not have an, a great score, it probably would be not even be a 10 at all so that's why this movie's great you know because the score and it was nice listening to it in theaters it was yes it was great but you know it, it's just it's just a great summer movie because you know it's just a bunch of guys fighting against the show and you know what that was a lot of fun that's all i need so <laughs> yep with a bunch of cool characters and there you go recipe for the best shark movie ever great score cool characters and simple but fun premise but yes i'm happy now and now we're just gonna wait well this is it oh my goodness literally hours ago i watched harry potter and jaws in theaters and it was incredible one of the best experiences in my life. I'm so happy I watched them. It was amazing and I'm glad to have gotten the opportunity and you know what? If I'm lucky, we might make more vlogs because there's Chamber of Secrets, Prisoner of Azkaban, Goblet of Fire. Like We're gonna watch all those. Oh man, I'm so happy. It was great, but yeah. That's all I have to say. So if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, you know, all that jazz. And, um, yeah, I can't wait. <laughs> yes. I just can't wait. I really can't wait to watch those movies. I think by the time, like, this is published, I probably saw most of them. But, hey, doesn't matter. Anyway, see you guys later.